Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. And on this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you some really, really beautiful chalkboards that you can create for Christmas. I also have a cutting board uh, that I wanna show you too. Um, so, as you're hopping on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from, feel free to sprinkle, feel free to ask questions, all that normal stuff. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you this and talking to you about this because there's one really special thing about this, and then we're going to be doing both of these nesting trays, and I'm going to show you how easy it is. These wash right off when the season's over so you can do something for spring. Okay, look at this beautiful um, chalkboard. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it is fabulous, don't you guys think? And did you notice this? So I'm gonna show you this particular magnetic board is from magnoliadiy.com. It's 14 by 20 inches. It has this gorgeous white frame and it's magnetic. And so where does it go? I'm going to show you how you can create some little magnet things to decorate your Christmas tree or really anything else that you might want. So we'll come back to this. We're going to start out stenciling first. Oh, and let me show you this one. This is one I made last year. This is a um, Christmas advent calendar that is also available from magnoliadiy.com. And this little Christmas tree you can move around to count down the days to Christmas. And I put a couple of magnets inside of it because this 14 by 20 magnetic board is also magnetic. And um, I just think that's really super cool. So, but all we've got going on here is a uh, chalkboard, a stencil, some white chalk paste, and then something magnetic. So we'll come back to this. Let's hop into this. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more about this. I don't know if you saw this video. We created this um, little, I don't know, shadow box looking thing with bottle brush trees and some little faux snow in there using a $5 box from Dollar Tree. That was a craft project we did um, maybe a week and a half, two weeks ago. And this is another thing we're going to finish. Okay, so... What I'm going to be using as a chalkboard today is this set of nesting trays. And they come with hardware uh, from magnoliadiy.com. But I opted not to put it on. And I've used these a couple times and then cleaned them off. And now I can't find the hardware, which is typical me. Um, but anyways, they're awesome. You get a set of two and they're deep enough to stand up. And last year at Christmas time, I don't know if it was this set or my other set, I did the village of old, those tall skinny houses with some uh, snowflakes in the sky and a little um, small stencil in the sky that had a, a Bible verse in it and set them up and it was a gorgeous display. But this is what we're gonna be using. So let's start with the small one first. Okay, what I'm gonna use today is this stencil because this is fast becoming my favorite. And I can imagine so many different things. This could become a gingerbread house if you use brown chalk paste. It could just be a house for all year long if you skip the snow-filled tree and the snowflakes. Or it can be for Christmas or winter. And um, so I love that. All right, my stencil is still pretty new. I've used it, I don't know, four times. Um, so I'm gonna take it off the backing sheet, which I have labeled, and I'm gonna fuzz it. And I'm gonna talk about fuzzing for a second. Why do we fuzz? The reason why we fuzz um, these green stencils is because they're super sticky, and we don't wanna stretch them when we're taking them off our surface. And if we're using them on a painted surface or on paper or something, we don't want to pull up the paint or a layer of paper. So um, that is why you fuzz, and you can do it on one of these little tacky towels, which has the inside where you can dry them after you wash them. Or you could uh, fuzz it on something like this apron, a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, that kind of thing. 
Okay, so we're going to do this, create a bow, then we'll do the other one, and then we'll finish this off because I have a really cute idea. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. I am excited. I promise that we're not going to only do Christmas crafts at this point because it's still fall. But sometimes I just get a little excited about the upcoming season. I usually decorate about one season ahead. And um, so I've just been in the mood to do some Christmas and winter projects. Okay, so this is that stencil. It's adhesive. It's reusable. It has a little stretch to it. Super detailed. You can use these. I think the company says 20 times, but I tell you, 30, 40, 50, 60 times if you take care of them. They look cruddy, but they still work just fine. So I've just put it on, and we're just using something really basic. We're using white chalk paste. Okay, this is paste, chalk paste. It's like the chalk sticks that your teacher used to write on the bulletin board with. Um, it can be wiped off, it's not permanent, um, but it's in a, a paste form, so it has some moisture to it. This is not chalk paint, so don't be confused. And I really tell people not to use any kind of paint on your stencils. Use chalk paste or ink or something like that, but not paint, because paint can permanently ruin your stencils. I'm just going to take some blobs out. Um, and if you're thinking you might be able to save a couple bucks by using some Waverly chalk paint or something from Walmart, uh, it probably is going to dry in the mesh holes on your stencil, which means you'll be able to use your stencil about two times rather than 20, 30, 40, or 50. So don't do it. Well, of course it's up to you, but I really... I don't ever do it because I'm, I'm frugal and I want my stencils to last a uh, super long time. So you can see how easy this is. Just applying the chalk paste to cover my whole surface. Can you see that? And I've got some on my hands. That's okay. And so I'm going to get it on. I'm going to get it all covered. And then we're going to use the flat side of the squeegee. I need something to wipe my hands off on. Paper towel. Um, so now it's the chalk paste is on there. Everything's covered, but it's I've got big clumps and lumps of it. So these squeegees, this is a small cut apart squeegee that I haven't cut in two, and I'm just going to use the flat side. Oh, I do see a spot that I missed though. Let's be sure to get that. Okay, I'm going to use the flat side of the squeegee to pull off the excess paste. And then I'm going to put all that goodness back in my little pot because I don't need to waste any of it. Not that it's, you know, gold or anything, but um, can I see another little spot that I almost missed? Okay, so that's it. I'm going to stop. And the reason why you want to stop right now is because the more you fiddle with it, the more you go over and over and over it, the more you're likely to push some of your chalk paste underneath your stencil or go out of bounds and have a blurry um, result. This house, oh my gosh, it is absolutely so adorable. I'll show you. Let me just put my stencil in this little tub of water. this stencil when we made this. Now I really think I love this stencil. And when I look at this board that I worked on earlier today that we're going to finish, this confirms for 100% certain that I love this stencil. You don't have to use all the parts of it every time. Just the house is fabulous. Um, so it's called Home for the Holidays. And when I'm all finished, if you want a link, I'd be glad to get you a direct one so you don't have to 
hunt it down. I'll give you a, a link that goes directly to that stencil if you want to just go look. So what do you guys think? Pretty cute. Okay, I am now I'm going to go and get some ribbon and we're going to do a quick messy bow. My zip ties to go with this. And then we'll do the other one. Okay, and I'm going to start with some wired ribbon. I don't know how long I want it to be, so I'll just guess. We'll get two pieces of this that are about the same length. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends of them. The easiest way to do that is just to fold your bow in half and then cut from the center out to the edges. And there you go, there's your dovetail. And do the same on this side. This is not great for your scissors to cut through the wired ribbon, that's the only thing, but I'm not, I'm not a good caretaker of my scissors, unfortunately. Let's put this on top of this little white backing so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, and then I have a, I pulled out a bunch of ribbon that I have. Um, I think we'll do this snowflake. And I was thinking we might do this too. I got this last year at Walmart. We'll see. I'm not going to go super crazy with this um, right now. Um, I can jazz it up a little bit more off camera, but I'm trying to remember where did I get this? I think this came from Walmart also. doing today who who is uh, crafting gifts for Christmas this year is anyone doing that I definitely am but I do every year I love I love making Christmas gifts I love making hostess gifts I love making birthday gifts I love doing all that kind of stuff for every season but I especially love it for Christmas and if you're wondering what do I have my ribbons on? These are these awesome little ribbon cards and I have a whole video here at DIY Dreaming where I talked about how I finally got my ribbon stash under control because it was taking up so much room in my craft room. And I did it by putting everything off the rolls onto those ribbon cards that you can order from Amazon. This little house um, is adorable. I don't think I'll dovetail this piece. I don't know if you guys ever get to Walmart or not, but they really have seriously uh, upped their game with, um, with their holiday decor. Last year was fabulous, and this year's even better. So it's a great place to get all kinds of things for your Christmas decor. Okay, I'm just going to go with these three. And I like to use one of these little zip ties to go around the tummy of my little stack of ribbons. And then I'll put the tail through the little hole in the zip tie. These zip ties are Del Reese brand and I think, I think, <laughs> That they came from either Joann's or Michael's. I can't remember. I've had them forever. Okay. And I will fiddle with making this bow pretty and not lopsided off camera. I'll cut this off. And I would probably do something like I think now that I'm looking at it, I think it needs to be bigger to put it off one side or on the bottom. 
or not at all because this is honestly so darn cute and it's going to be so cute with the other uh, thing that we're going to make. So let's go on to the next one and then I'll show you um, the magnet thing and then we'll do a bow for this little uh, wood breadboard. I made that breadboard as part of a Christ in crafting and then I only did one but I stained two so I was like these are so cute. These were $5 from, did I get these at Dollar Tree? Or maybe it was Hobby Lobby. Or it was Walmart, actually. These were $5 at Walmart. Super nice. Okay, so we're going to use this stencil, which is brand spanking new. And if you're watching this live on October 25th, 2022, it will be available to order at midnight tonight. It is beautiful. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look at the detail in the tree. And we'll come back and I'll show you this. Because this is a magnetized board. Okay, so I am just going to do the tree in here. Because this is not big enough for the whole thing. And that's fine. I don't know if you knew that you could do that. I'm not going to cut mine up at this point in the year. Um, so I'll just make it work. But I am going to fuss it because I've only used it once. And chalkboards are something that these can get pretty stuck to. Uh, and I don't want to stretch it all out of shape or do anything to damage it at the start of the season. This is seri truly, truly, seriously a beautiful stencil. Okay, so. I did nothing to prepare this chalkboard surface other than wipe off what I had on it before, before I put it away. I was looking to see if I can get this in pretty straight. Oops, it's got a piece of ribbon stuck on it. Okay, working with stencils inside of a box is like wrestling a snake. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good expression or not, but it's, it's just awkward. Uh, okay, so I just got the front bit of it in and I'm just going to smooth it down and we're just doing the tree and the little, um, I don't know if these are stars or snowflakes and I'm going to make sure that I get it really pressed down good and that there are no bubbles. This is what it looks like. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to use white chalk paste. small cut apart squeegee and I'm just going to put some blobs on here I can never tell how much I'm gonna need most likely I'll be putting some back in my little pot and now I'm just going to start pushing it through the holes in my stencil and then I'll come back and I'll pick up the globs and I'm not doing any of the words on this particular project. Yeah, I have way too much chalk paste. You can do a lot of projects with one pot of chalk paste. And if you find that it's starting to get dry, uh, which is just kind of a natural phenomenon that chalk paste does, uh, then you can add a little bit of distilled water and stir it and do that regularly and that will help extend the life of your chalk paste. Okay, I think I have everything and this is what it looks like. And I know you guys are probably thinking, well, Heidi, I could do this project. I don't need you to show me how to do a chalkboard. <laughs> and I know that. But I just wanted to show you how beautiful these can be. This set is awesome. I had it decked out for fall. Uh, then I had my, oh my gosh. 
I had my other set um, with the Village of Old Houses on it. I think it's still in the closet. And you can just clean it off and bring it out. Get this in the water. Clean it, use it for a season, clean it off, and then bring it out and re-stencil it with something else. And to, wa to clean it, you just use water and a paper towel. Look how amazing that is. You guys, look at the detail. So if you missed the, the earlier part where I was talking about this stencil, it's called Oh Christmas Tree. And it's brand spanking new. It will be available tonight. If you're watching live, today is October 25th. It's a Tuesday of 2022. And this stencil, Oh Christmas Tree, is being released on the 26th of October, which is tomorrow, but technically it's midnight tonight. Um, so if you love it, I would grab it. Um, and I totally love it. So look how cute these would look together. And the more I'm looking at them together, the more I'm thinking, I really don't need a bow or anything to add to it. What do you guys think? Do I? I don't think I do. And if I hadn't done the exact same stencil, look how cute this would be. Awesome. Okay, so let's put these aside for a minute. I'm just going to stick them up here. And let's talk about this. You know what, let's talk about the other thing first, because I'm afraid I'll forget. Okay, so like I said, this chalkboard would go great with these um, uh, nesting trays. Um, and it is magnetized. And what that means is that a magnet will stick to it. This is a vintage button, and I just have one of those little teeny button magnets um, glued on the back of it. Um, let me show you how you do that. It could not be easier. Okay, this is what the little teeny button magnets look like. I got these at Walmart. They're small magnetic buttons. Um, they're, they won't hold anything really very heavy. And also these are really bad for animals and children to put in their mouths and swallow. So keep track of them. Keep them up, and if you drop one, find it. <laughs> Don't let your dog or a child find it and put it in their mouth. Okay, so I've got one right here. And let's put that so you can see what I'm doing. One right there. And I, um, before I got started, I just grabbed some various little doodads that I had. This was a button that I was able to use my wire cutter things to shorten the shank on it so that could work. Although I don't know if it's short enough. Um, this was a button that I could use. Um, I, I cut the shank a little bit shorter that I could use on this. And these are just some little snowflakes. I have absolutely no idea where these came from, but these could be super cute, and that's what I thought we would do. I have three or four of them. I'm just going to show you one, but I think these would be adorable with this project. Um, and I feel like if you look around at a craft store, you can find little things like that. So I'm just going to use my Sherbonder Cool Shot uh, gluing device to put a blob of glue on the top of my little magnet. And I'm going to push it down. And now I have a little silver snowflake that I could put, let's see, where does the one that I had here? That I could put on my Christmas tree. Can you see it down there in the corner? 
So I just wanted to show you this idea of building some kind of 3D things on the little tiny button magnets. It could be what I've just shown you, or it could be some um, beautiful mother of pearl buttons, or you know, black buttons, or I have a little bit of a button um, obsession. Or it could be metal buttons, or it could be kind of flat beads. It could be all kinds of different things. So I wanted to show you that idea. Okay, so let's finish this project up. And when I am all completely done, I will get pictures of everything. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, have a, a bow that I've been working on that I made. Where is that ribbon? With this ribbon that looks like snowflakes. And I just went really light. I did crisscross, crisscross. And I did this... Um, what is this called? These pom-pom ribbons. And then I did a smaller pom-pom ribbon. And I just um, did the crisscross and then I did my little uh, zip tie. And then I glued a pom-pom right in the center. And I'm thinking that this is gonna be super adorable. And let me figure out which way it's gonna sit better. I'm just going to put it right here. I'm going to just glue it right on there. And because this is chalk paste that I used on this project, if I wanted at some point in the future, I could remove it with some water and start all over. What do you guys think? Is that adorable or what? I think I'm going to put this in my auction that I will tell you about coming up here in the next probably 10 days. So those are the projects that I wanted to show you. All of them are pretty basic. They just involve a stencil, some white chalk paste, and then some kind of a chalkboard, like this one which is magnetic, and it's the same um, thing. It's a 14 by 20 magnetic board, and this is the one I did last year with Advent Calendar, which Magnolia DIY still has a few of these left if you're interested. And I put my magnets inside of this little Christmas tree pouch, and you can move it around. So this is one idea. And then, Another idea that I absolutely love is this idea of using these nesting trays that you could actually use as a tray, but they're too pretty to do that. I think they just look fabulous. And this would look great, this combination sitting on a mantle, on some bookshelves. I mean, this would even look pretty sitting on your countertop in the kitchen. So. That's what I wanted to show you. Short and sweet and super easy, and that's exactly my speed of a project. Nothing is permanent, so when Christmas is over, I can just clean it off, and I can start all over with spring, and then move into summer, and then move into fall, and then move back into Christmas and winter again, which I love being able to use the same surface and switch it out for the whole year. Catherine says, ooh, I love these. I do too. This to me, Michelle says she loves everything I make. This to me um, does say Christmas, uh, but it's not, I don't know what the right word to say is, it's not cheesy or corny. I think this is really an elevated look um, I just absolutely love it. I love the black and white. I don't think I'm going to do that bow on here because I think that would take away from what we have going on right here. So, I also totally love this. So, let me let just lay it down, scooch these back, see if you guys have any questions. Feel free to ask. Um... 
Let me know if you would like a link to either of these stencils or the chalk paste or to the 14 by 20 magnetic board or to these nesting trays. This wood one came from Walmart in the craft section. It was $5 and I just stained it and then I stenciled it. Easy. Now, if I wanted these to be here forever, if I did not want to ever clean them off and do something different, I could put a coat of clear matte sealer spray over the top. But it's hard and stable. It's going to stay there until you wash it off. So there's no need to, excuse me, no need to do it unless you just know forever that you want it. Um, Janine says that she likes that you could keep this out all winter long. I think so too. You could erase this wording right here that says home for the holidays and then it could go into February. Easy. Easy, easy. If you use a matte sealer spray, you're not going to be able to get the chalk paste off. It makes it permanent. The word I'm looking for, Kath, let's see, Celeste says, is classy. Yeah. Classy, classic, not, not trendy, not going to go out of style, I guess is a better way to describe it. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to everyone who did stars. I so appreciate that. Um, let me know if you have questions. Let me know if you would like links. Do a this or a this. It's a thumb and this is a heart. Or say something to me in the comments if you want Facebook to start serving you what we're doing here at DIY Dreaming. And make sure you've liked and followed this page. If you're watching on YouTube, I would love for you to um, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it if you would like. And for everybody on Facebook, if you feel like sprinkling, that is always awesome. Alrighty, I'm going to go sit down in my comfy chair and read all of your comments. Let me do one last reminder. Uh, if you are in love with this Oh Christmas Tree stencil, which I definitely am, this one, it will be available tonight at midnight Eastern Time, and then it will be on the website after that. So this is coming out with some new releases that Magnolia has tonight at midnight, at midnight and they have some fabulous new things coming out. So, alrighty, we'll have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. I hope to see you guys tomorrow for more crafts that are going to be quick and easy, affordable, sometimes a little different, uh, mostly involving faith, family, and flowers. Bye, everyone. <laughs>